Turtles have lived on Earth for 200 million years. But in just the last decade, 65 turtle species, about one quarter of the world's total, have all but disappeared. They've been eaten almost to extinction. On the day these pictures were taken 10 years ago, this market in southern China had 10,000 live turtles for sale. Chinese have always eaten turtles, but not on such a huge scale. What used to be largely a barter trade has become a multi-million dollar industry. In China today, people have money to spend, and eating turtles, especially wild-caught ones, is thought to assure a long life, relieve the pain of childbirth, and even cure cancer. The demand is enormous. According to the World Wildlife Fund, China imported 240 tons of live turtles from Vietnam in 1994, more than 1,000 tons from Cambodia in 1996, same story in Laos. After hunters stripped Southeast Asia of its wild turtles, they moved on to Burma and Indonesia. The situation in Southeast Asia and China is so grave that we're concerned that we are going to lose turtles. They will become extinct, certainly in our lifetime, if we don't take efforts to preserve them. A worldwide effort to breed rare turtles has begun. Essentially, within the box is a controlled environment. Curators at the Tennessee Aquarium are breeding 41 kinds of turtles, including the Chinese three-striped box turtle and the four-eyed beals turtle. Each clutch of eggs has its own special container. This is another one from the uh, golden coin turtle. Clutch of six eggs, which all appear fertile. They're chalking and banded. And so rare now in China, that one of these adults fetches $1,500, if you can find one. After 59 days in the incubator, curators hatched two rare four-eyed turtles, believed to be the first ones successfully bred in North America. This is the father of the youngster we hatched about a month ago. And on the beals, the, uh, the markings are kind of, they're obscured by that olive green head. You can just barely make them out. Uh, the, the turtles here in our collection are really part of assurance colonies, assurance that these turtles will not go extinct and can be returned to the wild when the conditions are favorable. But that might not happen for decades. So in the meantime, they live here, on the roof of the Tennessee Aquarium. 70 kinds of turtles on display. Can you tell me if it's a boy or a girl by just looking? Boy. At a, a boy, very good. Boy because turtles live so long and take years to reproduce, Every adult represents a rich genetic investment in the long-term survival of its species, living links to the age of dinosaurs. Commercial traders say wild turtles can be harvested sustainably, but collecting them has put 40% of the world's 266 turtle species at risk. Conservationists say more will disappear unless the trade is stopped. Six states have banned commercial collection of wild turtles, but thousands are still caught in the United States and shipped to China each year. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.